choices, and knowing who you are for kids. This lesson could also be called, Who's your daddy? And, and what, what did, did he do? do? That's an interesting question. And we'll answer that today. We are pretty excited to share this lesson with you. John 1, 12. But to all who have received him, those who believe in his name, he has given the right to become God's children. That's amazing. 1 Corinthians six nineteen. Do you not know that you are God's temple and God's spirit lives in you? That is also pretty amazing. Romans 6, 6. We know that our old man was crucified with him so that the body of sin would no longer dominate us, so that we would no longer be enslaved to sin. We are free to make our own choices. Amen. Making some choices can still be difficult. Some choices should be tough. These are things we should think about and pray about. Things we should get wise counsel about. We might think about what kind of work we're going to do or what kind of ministry or college we'll go to or who we're going to spend time with or who's going to be our friends. Or maybe someday we might think about who's going to be our wife or husband. Hmm, but that's not for a long time. Other decisions should not be so hard. Yet for some of us, they still are. Like... What about temptations? Taking something that's not ours or making up a story. We might think, what if we get caught? Or what if someone tells on us? We all know what's right or wrong. We know the verses, thou shalt not, this, this, this. We know the things that are thou shalt not. But still, sometimes we have to think about stuff. Evaluate. Weigh the consequences. Determine the most likely result. Compare the pros and the cons. Balance the risk versus the reward. These are all ways we make decisions. But if we have difficulties with these decisions, there might be something else we need to think about. Who is my creator? Who do I belong to? Who paid for me? What does that make me? Answering these questions changes our views on what choices we should make. God is the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. God is our Abba Father. God is our Daddy. And He is the one who died for our sins. He paid the price for us. If the King of Kings is our Daddy, then who and what are we? I think you know. Well, when your pet sees you, he doesn't stop and make a choice about whether he should bark or he should meow. Does your pet decide each time? No, right? The decision process doesn't even start. There's no consideration or evaluation to be made. No pros and cons. Why not? Because your pet does what he does because of what he is. Does a tiger say moo? <laughs> Would an elephant just decide to start flying? When you know what you are, you already know what you do and what you don't do. So if you understand who you are ahead of time, then you no longer have to decide what you do, what you should do, or what you shouldn't do. Are you a child of the king? Does anybody know a vegetarian? Does he decide every meal if he should eat meat? Why not? What about a top athlete on a team? Does he just decide to play a different position every time he gets out on the field? Or just switch sports? Every day? They have made their decision about what they are, and they no longer have to decide what they do each day. Their identity guides them in their choices. 
what they eat, when they sleep, or how much to exercise, their lifestyle follows their identity. Do you identify with the Lord of Lords? What is your relationship with him? When you decide to follow Christ, you become a new person. Peter was asked, what must I do to be saved? Mm, I love this one. In Acts 2.38, then Peter said unto them, repent and be baptized, every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of sin, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. When you follow these steps, you become his child. What are the steps again? Repent, be baptized in Jesus' name, receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. 2 Corinthians 5.21 God made the one who did not know sin to be sin for us, so that in him we would become the righteous of God. How did Jesus know sin if he never sinned? How did he learn the pain and shame of sin? The cross. Since he paid for our sins, do we owe anything for our sins? No. Why not? He already paid the price. That is so amazing. Amen. 2 Corinthians 5.17 So then, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. What is old has passed away. Look, what is new has come. Who becomes a new creature when we accept him? That's right. We do. What must I do to be saved? Repent, be baptized in Jesus' name, receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Who are you a child of? What did he do for you? If he is the king of kings, what does that make you? Mm. When you can answer these questions many of your decisions become very, very easy. When you have made the choice about your identity, about who and what you are, your lifestyle will follow. So now, you know the answer to who is your daddy and what did he do? And for that, we can say, thank thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Bye, class. We love you and we look forward to seeing you again soon. Parents, if you agree with these lessons, please subscribe and share this video with other families that have juniors.